Summertime is known for many things in southern Colorado. Unexpected rainstorms, vast recreation areas which are frequented by residents and tourists alike, and the hundred days of heat. The temperatures in Pueblo are already high, but the Pueblo County Sheriff's Department, the Pueblo Police Department, and the Colorado State Patrol have turned up the heat as they work to keep unsafe drivers off the streets. Throughout the summer months, law enforcement officials set up roadside checkpoints in an effort to keep drunk drivers and those driving under the influence of drugs from getting behind the wheel. Deputy Jonathan Post said it's important for people to understand any substance which is taken into the human body that can impair the ability to operate a motor vehicle safely can result in a driving under the influence of drugs or a driving while impaired charge. Any substance that you take causes some sort of physiological signs that can be detected. Slow, slurred speech, slowed reaction time, or even a quick reaction time, Post said. Cocaine and methamphetamines can cause quick response times. Any substance which you take into uh, the human body can impair the uh, ability to operate a motor vehicle safely. If someone is suspected of being under the influence of drugs, a drug recognition expert is called out. The suspect is taken into the command center where their blood pressure, pulse, and temperature is taken, and they'll be asked to go through roadside tests again. The data is then compiled to determine what drugs they may be dealing with, Post said. I would like to come out here and have none, honestly. Um, but, uh, you know, the less we get, the better I think the message is getting out that uh, people should not be operating a motor vehicle when they're under the influence of anything. Sleeping pills are a problem they have to deal with regularly. People take them thinking they're safe to take just because it's a prescription, but that can be just as dangerous, he says. And sleeping pills uh, would also impair a uh, person's ability to operate a motor vehicle. Over Father's Day weekend, a roadside checkpoint was erected with the local and state law enforcement officials, as well as the Colorado Division of Wildlife and Colorado Department of Parks and Recreation. Danielle Hill, senior ranger at Lake Pueblo with Colorado State Parks, said the joint effort was due in part to the waterfront activities. She says it's important for those visiting the lakes with boats or other watercrafts to be aware of the license requirements and the dangers of boating. You need to um, be very careful in driving a boat because first of all I'd like to say that they don't have brakes and they don't have driver's license testing the way we do with vehicles so they're a little more dangerous than a car they can be and also if you break down you're in the water and, and there presents a lot of danger there as well. She also said people who wish to boat will need to have a current registration and they should be aware the laws have changed since last summer. Last year the legal blood alcohol content limit was 0.10 but it is now 0.08. Anyone over the legal limit will be handled as a driving under the influence. They did change the law, so now the BAC, the blood alcohol content, is 0 0.08 maximum. So if your blood alcohol content is 0 0.08 or higher, you could be arrested for a BUI. There can be um, accidents, there can be drownings, there can be injuries, and all of these are mostly preventable. Um, weather, of course, plays a role in that, so keep an eye on the sky and make sure that if the storms are coming or the thunderheads are rolling in that you probably should head towards shore. Um, drinking and boating is not a good idea. It, a lot of people have done it and they remember their memories from the lakes like that, but times are changing and there are more boaters than ever. 60,000 boaters on our lake. Um, so the capacity is increasing and accidents are more and more common. So I just encourage people to be safe and instead of drinking beer they could drink water and then maybe have a beer at the campground with their dinner. The checkpoint is set up, the officers working at the checkpoint are briefed, and the cars are directed off the road and into lanes. Drivers are told they are being detained at sobriety checkpoint and are asked to provide their driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance. If they appear sober, if they appear like they can operate a motor vehicle, uh, we send them on their way. If they don't, we'll run them through roadsides. Uh, and also, if they pass the roadsides, then they get sent on their way. If someone doesn't pass the roadside sobriety test, they will be asked for a breath or blood sample. Intoxicated drivers may make arrangements for their vehicles to be picked up from the checkpoint, but the police department may choose to impound it. Shaw Brown, Deputy District Attorney with the Pueblo District Attorney's Office, was at the checkpoint as a volunteer with the Colorado Wing Civil Air Patrol, the local Pueblo Eagle Squadron. He recalled a case from several years ago when a woman in her 80s was stopped and arrested for having a glass of wine with dinner because it put her over the legal limit. While one may refuse to take the test, Brown said if the officer believes a person to be under the influence, that person will be placed under arrest. Colorado state law requires a decision at that point 
either elect to take the breath test or an ambulance can be called to the checkpoint to draw blood. Brown also noted a driving under the influence or driving while impaired conviction can affect future employment. This holiday weekend, the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office will have DUI saturation, according to Deputy Lori Kilpatrick, the public information officer. There will be more officers than usual, and they will be focused on drug and alcohol enforcement. If you feel you've got an issue, that's why we have designated drivers. You use designated drivers. We're never going to arrest a designated driver. You're not going to get arrested for being a passenger that has a .5 alcohol content. It's just not going to happen.